Hi everyone, today we're going to do uh, a session on how to add a site over to uh, the key scan. This is System 7, so the way that we're going to do it is we're going to press, make sure that you are click on the software, uh, press on F10, the site uh, registration would come up. Obviously you can go and see that we have our site here set up. Uh, the way that you're going to do it is like that. You're going to give a name here. Uh, give it any name that you want. The serial number that you have on the board would be at the left side um, uh, and uh, you can uh, pick up those numbers and put them here. Remember that in System 7 you cannot use the first two letters so you have to put just uh, uh, whatever beyond those two uh, letters. So for instance for this one here we had AB L1625 I took off the LB, uh, the AB, and then had like L1625. So remember that you're putting it here. Unit password is going to be key scan. Um, you're going over to unit type. Pick up uh, mine is the 8500 uh, CA 8500, so I'm going to pick up CA uh, 8000. Uh, status we're going to pick up active. Uh, I'm going to call it again ACU4. ACU4. It's a testing one, but anyway. And we're going to call it, we're going to give it like a, just a number here, a random number. So, okay. And then here for the communication, we're going to pick up network because we're using the net uh, Netcom 2P. Uh, IP address, we're just going to give it a random address. Obviously, you have to configure the, the port before that, the, the board before that with the proper IP. So I'm going to be 192.168.168. Uh, 1.91 uh, for instance and the subnet mask uh, assuming that you're using the same type of network here so mostly it should be like 255.255.255.0 and um, unit location put it wherever you want description uh, say testing but you can go and put where is the location of this uh, unit uh, pick up the right time for it for it you don't have to go and touch those ones, the key scan or the processing. Uh, I'll encourage you to put a check mark here wherever it's showing a reader LED uh, red green enabled and leave the rest of them uh, unattached. Uh, do add unit, missing unit password. So obviously we'll put the password here. Key scan and then we're going to add the unit and then here we go you have another unit here that is active obviously it's going to get deactivated because there's no really IP address for this one and we're going to remove it away uh, when we're done with the, the communication uh, save and exit save and exit save and um, exit and then you you have here uh, up upload changes Obviously, we're going to go back again over and remove this one, but the moment that you're doing that, this one would let you upload it. There is no board like that, so you cannot really upload this one over to the board. Um, and then we're done. Um, finishing with this one, as I said before that, uh, going over to the site uh, connection, some, some users that would go over to uh, their system they would get when we're getting like the read uh, reader LED red green enabled. If in case you did not enable this one, uh, you'll get on your sensor or car reader sensor, you'll see a green LED, and then when you're swiping your uh, card, you're getting a red LED. You don't want to have that, so you're going to check this one here and make sure to do an uh, an update uh, on the system. Uh, that would conclude uh, this session.